company suspending more than 100,000 for a single high quality VFX ad. That's right, a single visual driven commercial can cost more than some houses. But recently, the internet has exploded when one guy on Twitter, Min Choi, posted that he has used just one prompt in VL3 and generated the IKEA ad worth $100,000 at just for 20 cents. His tweet collected over 2 million views and 16,000 likes. Absolutely viral. Right after that, a wave of creators started to generate ads for all sorts of brands with the same prompts and all just for cents. I joined this trend making over 10 ads with a total production value estimated of $1 million. And in this video, I will show you the best results, break down step-by-step -step process and share how you can use the same method for your own business product or brand. You might wonder, what is the secret sauce? Why did Min Choice IKEA ad look so good when others didn't get the same results? It's just one word consistency. With AI tools, especially the video ones, consistency is the vital getting the result you want. The key to that consistency is the use of detailed prompts structured in the JSON file. Let me briefly explain. So JSON, or known JavaScript object notation, is a format for organizing data. In VL3, a prompt written in JSON lets you describe the video, scene, camera, objects, mood, timing, everything making it clear for the AI system to follow. Min Choi's famous IKEA ad prompt was formatted this way. He carefully described the room, camera style, assembly steps, and the overall feel. This attention to detail allowed VL3 to generate a video that looked highly professional and met expectations. All right, so right now we are on Twitter, and this is the Min Choi post where he has published his IKEA ad and at the same time he has left his JSON formatted text that he has used to generate this ad sorry the ad so in this case I just created the document and within this document I just studied that first of all I just copy paste the JSON form the text that was created by Inchoy and I wanted to create the same kind of ad and to see which kind of output I'm going to get by the way like I left this file in the description so all the ads that I have created and showed within this video you can find it out like and to play around and to see which kind of ads it will generate for you for the first step in, in order to generate this ad I just copy paste this JSON formatted text and then I went to the flow the flow this is just uh, an app created by google where you can generate the vo3 clips and just a small recap about the flow so it has like two options the first one is the text to video so you just need to insert the text and then this text is going to be used as the input for vo3 and then it will generate the clip and the other option frames to video so the frames to video allows to insert the picture once you insert this picture then it will be used by vo3 in order to generate the new clip okay so but like in this case we just need to text to video but we also go into cover with the frames to video one approach that i'm going to show you later so for the first advertising the ikea one i just copy paste the json prompt and this is kind of the advertising that i got In my point of view, it looks amazing and it's it looks almost identical, the same as the Minchoy has published. The only difference, it starts with the wall. And here, in case if we go back just to uh, to compare, so as you can see, like there is no shelf in here, but the window and the curtain and the plan is here. And like in my case, I also had a plan, curtains and the window and the radiator. But at the same time, like the shelf uh, in the Minchoy case, it was not present at the, at the beginning. So it went out from the box. But then I decided like to use the same prompts and I wanted to create the advertising for BMW X5. So for this purpose, I needed to use the ChatGPT, but you also can use the Gemini or Perplexity, any other AI chat that will help you to generate the custom prompt. So what I asked the chat GPT that, okay, let's optimize this ad for BMW X5 model. And instead of all the furniture, the first scene is going to start in the empty garage. There will be metal box standing with the BMW logo and optimize the next scenes based on this top. But the concept must be identically the same. And this is kind of a prompt that it has generated. And this one I have used in order to generate the next ad. So how cool is that? So it was just like three lines of, of, of chat GPT, like chatting, and it has generated the JSON formatted text that afterwards created this kind of ad. So the next ad that I have decided to generate, it was just 
also about the car but the Range Rover I just wanted to see how it will optimize just in case if we already have a ready prompt for the car how it will be easy to generate the same kind of a thing for just another brand of the car so I just said to ChatGPT okay we let's use the same prompt that you have made for BMW and I want the same Kind of advertising for Range Rover Sport 2025 model. So after that, like ChatGPT has created me a new JSON formatted text that I have used also in the flow, and this is kind of an ad that VO3 have made. Okay, let's take another look not on the car but on the sprite ad prompt, the one that I decided to create, and I just took already like that the same prompt, the same IKEA prompt that had been published on Twitter. And I said that, okay, let's advertise sprites, like person stands in the office, holds sprites. And then suddenly the can went out from his hands. And from this kind of a can, it's coming like bunch of water, the sun and all relaxing atmosphere. So instead of the office, there will be a swimming pool and this guy is swimming on the pink flamingo floaty. So it was quite easy and also like ChatGPT has provided me some kind of a tips that we have used and this is kind of an ad that we got. In this case I really like the advertising but at the same time like as we can listen at the whole beginning like the sound thing it seems like the guy opened the can but it, at, at this scenario like it didn't happen so I still would work a little bit on the on the prompts in order to make it a little bit more realistic or maybe like to work with the sounds but in general like as we can see that this is a real guy like i mean like looks real then he's standing in the office so the atmosphere was shown by veil 3 and then like he's steaming so he's like freaking tired and then he's using the can of sprite and like afterwards we get a boom and after like the water splash and he's sitting on the flamingo and happy and the sprite is getting back to to flamingo another ad that i have created it was about the pumpers ad i'm not going to show you within this video but in case if you would like check out this this kind of advertising and how cool it's gonna look then basically just go in below in the description and check out the document and try to generate the VO3 advertising. And the final one, which is which is going to go a little bit different. I have decided like to advertise some kind of a concrete product and I wanted to 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 advertise the Dyson purifier. And actually, I didn't get any idea how can I advertise that. That's why I asked ChatGPT how we can do that. And that was kind of a draft scenario that ChatGPT has suggested to me. So basically the idea was to show that like once there is a really dusty room, then the Dyson purifier comes up into the game and then something fresh is happening within the room. But then, first of all, like once I started to generate the same kind of ad, this kind of a thing happened. So I used only text to video, then like BO3 has generated this type of then. looks amazing everything is beautiful in my point of view because like in this case like we can see there is a dust so again like the atmosphere was shown by bo3 then there is like an air the parts of the air is sprinkles around like the purifier and then boom it's starting like to take away this dust and like a natural fresh effect comes into the room everything is perfect except one thing this is not the dyson air purifier right so what i did I went just to, to the internet and just Googled the uh, Dyson Air Purifier and then uh, made a screenshot of the Dyson Purifier. And this is how it looks. And then I just decided like to use the same JSON formatted file. And then I went back to flow and instead of the text to video, I used frames to video. So basically what I did, I clicked the frames to video, added the picture. I have uploaded it from, from, from local computer and then I have used this picture for the VO3 and it was basically the same prompt. And finally, this is the result that I got. Super real, dust in the beginning, very clear and fresh like at the end. So the atmosphere was shown by VO3 and that's insane. Like just a just few, few clicks with the AI first of all, like to generate the JSON prompts, 
and afterwards to include it to VO3, then it took like three minutes or maybe even though less to generate this ad. Finally, I would take this ad and there is like a piece of uh, white piece on the wall so we can put some kind of a text that to indicate the name of the product like Dyson Purify and Stay Fresh or some kind of a slogan. So this is kind of already a piece of a draft advertising that can be used in order to create the final results. As you saw with just one single prompt and like with few lines of code with ChatGPT, it was possible to create just in minutes like really cool ads. But this is about the big brands and what is the case in case if we're going to use the same prompt in order to generate something for the small or medium business, for instance, in case if you have the cafeteria or you have some kind of other service or a business or you advertise some kind of a product, how you can use the same type of prompting and the VO3 possibilities to make the ads that going to be customized exactly for your use case. This is the thing that we're going to consider in the next step. All right, so the first step that I supposed to do with the chat GPT, I was, I was supposed to come up with kind of idea which kind of a small medium business it could be. And I decided to go with the easy one that for instance, we just taking the barber shop, right? I didn't know like which kind of brand it should be or what what's supposed to be the name. And I also like cheated a little bit and I asked chat GPT which kind of names it could be. One of the names was the sharp line. I like that and I decided to go with that. Like the step was that I asked ChatGPT, is it possible to create a logo for that? I had the paid version, so basically I was able to generate multiple pictures and it worked quite great for me. So after that, the ChatGPT has created this kind of a logo and actually I really like that. That was the first one and I didn't want to change anything. In the second prompt with the chat GPT, I said, okay, here's an idea. So the first scene, there is a man sitting with a mask on his hat, a non-stylish long beard as he didn't visit the hairdresser for a long time. Well, quite typical picture in case if you don't go for two months to a barber. He's sitting in the center of the camera. So within the frame, his body, and there is a barber clock. The scene is a bit dark and behind the barber stands, both looking in the center of the camera and also think of the background, how it will look, create the image for the first scene. So basically we have informed how the scene is going to look like for the ChatGPT, like in order to understand how the first scene is going to look like, I asked ChatGPT to create the first scene, right? That was kind of a, output of that. We can see that there is Barbary standing behind. They have quite a serious faces, both of them as the clients and the barber, right? And we can see that, yes, it's dark. So basically everything that we have described. But the problem was that it was like a vertical page. It would be good like in case if we use it for the social media, but in my case, it's supposed to use it for the YouTube. So I need to go with the 16 to nine radio, right? That was the next step that I did. I just asked like the chat GPT, hey, can you make it like 16 to nine radio? And also like put the logo to the cloak. So th this is the logo that initially chat GPT has created. And it looks cool. So like we can see that like the guy didn't go for a barber definitely for a long time. Nicely shaped and placed brand of our barber shop in here and the barber itself. Everything is ready like, but right now we just need to create the prompt. That's why I said, okay, create the prompt for VL3 and that the room becomes brighter and the man is having the smile a bit, but still masculine. Also mentioned that you don't want to change an active face, that this will be the same people from the beginning till the end. And another thing I said, let's make it so that the barber pulls up the cloak and once he's doing it like a magician, so during the transformation scene, the face of the client is gonna be hidden. This is kind of a, again, the same JSON formatted file was generated by ChatGPT. So I copy paste that, then I went to, to the flow. And in this case, I used the frames to video, so I just, I just uploaded the picture that ChatGPT has generated for us. But then there was a trick that I'm sitting in Europe. So basically sometimes it doesn't allow to upload the pictures of, of real characters or the characters that look too real. But at the same time, like I just used the VPN and in my case, it was the Nord VPN. So, and I also left the description below that way you can get it. 
So basically in this case, I just went to NordVPN. I have connected to United States and it worked perfectly. So in this case, it was for me, it was possible to upload this picture. Otherwise, like VO3 didn't allow me to do that. I have uploaded the picture, then I have up uploaded the JSON formatted text. And this is the video that I got. So it looked quite nice in my point of view. That was just a small thing that I didn't like that once the brand started to appear and that's actually very good like ending of the scene. As you can see that like the, the barber is standing and there is something something weird is happening. Like almost he put the clock on the on the head of the guy. My next thing was that I just opened it up by CapCat. I have uploaded the video that BO3 has generated for me. And then I have uploaded the picture of the brand. And then I just covered like the part where logo was appearing and where this weird picture was coming. And that was the final result of the advertising itself. To wrap up, let's highlight how powerful the JSON prompts could be once you're building another piece of art in VO3. Once you master using them, as you have seen in the demonstration, you will not limit it to creating impressive ads for big brands only with just a single prompt. You can also easily optimize these prompts for small and medium business campaigns, making advanced advertising accessible for everyone. The advertising game has changed truly, and now anyone can produce the jaw-dropping commercial results on a show stream budget. So why not you? And as a special bonus for those who watched until the end, here's my personal favorite, a pumpers ad generated with the same JSON magic. Let me know in the comments if you like it or not. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like, and happy creating.